Hello everyone, welcome to part 198 of Laravel Multi Vendor Series and we are going to end this series very soon but we are going to start this separate series along with this one uh, or after uh, adding the 200 videos we are going to add the separate series and that is the Laravel Multi Vendor add-on features in that we are going to add the add-on features and also we are going to resolve the bugs whatever bugs uh, we have identified here in the multi vendor e commerce series that we are going to resolve there, and also we are going to add some of the major important add on features in the separate series if you want to watch. Okay, so in this video, we are going to integrate the test editor in Laravel, and that is TinyMC and CK editor. First of all, I'm going to tell you that what is the test editor actually. See. Yeah, here you can see the CMS pages here. Okay, we have the CMS page here and here is the content that we have added from the admin panel. And now if in case we want to make content like bold, we want to make some of the content bold, italic means we uh, we want to give some styling, some style, some CSS style to our content. And also we want to integrate the, uh, add the image as well along with the content. So we want to design that page so that is possible with the help of the test editor that we are going to integrate in our multi vendor e-commerce website without test editor it is not complete okay so i am going to login into the end panel i am going to show you that see this test editor i am going to add in the cms pages but you can add anywhere after integrate uh, you can just copy paste whatever class or uh, id we are going to use okay uh, so we are going to add the script as well so here I'm going to show you uh, these pages management and here see in CMS pages we are going to integrate this editor here in the add CMS page and edit CMS page. Here you can see the description test area that uh, you can't uh, add any kind of styling into this okay. Uh, so uh, for that we are going to add the test editor and I am telling you there are two editors two famous editor available in the market okay top two editors that is the tiny uh, tiny mc tiny mc i think wrong mistakes i'm spelling mistake tiny mc i need to see the tiny mc yeah tiny mc and the second one is the ck editor okay so these two editors are uh, available uh, okay online okay so famous editor so i'm going to search like if even if i will search something like uh, uh laravel test editor okay uh, i'm going to check it like this that which editor will come at the top laravel test editor okay so here i'm going to see the uh, tiny mc editor is coming at the top okay so uh, we are going to integrate this editor straight away uh, and here is the documentation see easy easy documentation not that much complex okay here you can see the script that we need to add in our uh files layout.blade.file i think uh, where we are adding all the scripts okay so here one more script i'm going to add uh, i'm going to add this one this script that is available here okay in this website in tinymc website okay i'm going to paste this script okay so uh, now uh, i'm going to check that how to integrate so i can uh, just use this id uh, wherever i want uh, so see this id must be here as well test area my editor so see you need to create the separate id if you want uh, to, uh want to integrate to multiple places okay so because id is just for one okay so i'm going to open here add edit cms page okay i'm going to open this one and here i will go to the uh, description we'll see here and here in place of this uh, here i'm going to replace the, this id description with the id my editor instance i'm going to refresh now and we'll see that i able to integrate the test editor into it and you can see that i able to integrate this test editor okay beautiful test editor and now see uh, you can uh, see this is the test page okay i'm going to add it and now i can do anything like i can make it bold as well okay i can change the heading like this one i can uh, add another option like i can add the li or some i can add the table as well okay so there are many options are available that i can add i can add the new okay so 
so this kind of basic things are available in this test editor you can make the test bold italic okay and i think you can even uh, uh, give the test color uh, like like this okay you can able to format the test as well okay you can see uh, you can uh, you if you want to see like uh, its code then you can i think uh, you can see its code as well so there are many options are available here you can see many options are available you can try all the options uh, that are available in this simple tiny mc test editor okay and once you will save this one then you can check at the front end okay so i'm going to edit uh, some other page like i'm going to edit here this about us about us content i'm going to edit okay so i'm going to close this one and this test i'm going to make it bold italic and also i want to change its color i'm going to uh, check here that uh, what i can do for changing the color and here i will go uh, we'll check here uh, that test color i'm going to make it red okay so now i'm going to save this one I click on submit okay and here i'm going to refresh here uh see it is not coming because we need to update here as well we need to update in a, a blade file at the front okay so here this one these tags will not work laravel tags will not work we need to add the php tags echo because uh, the html content it will not support or we need to do it like this now it will support now we are going to see uh, see the test is now beautiful test we able to update from the admin panel and here you can see that we able to update uh, here in, in see we able to update here and the same it has been appeared at the front end as well so this is the difference between the normal okay uh, we can able to upgrade uh, here like this okay so now uh, see we are going to integrate uh, the better editor than this one with lot other option this is a simple editor that you can integrate with the uh, see within few steps you can integrate but here if you want to integrate the uh, advanced uh, tiny mc then you need to pay some amount so but we are going to check out ck editor that is available free with many more options okay here if you will try to integrate the advanced uh, uh, then it there is the pricing but we will try uh, with the ck editor okay laravel ck editor uh, so that uh, i am going to integrate now straight away okay for you so i am going to show you laravel ck editor here uh, let's open this laravel ck editor five documentation we can open this one okay so now uh, we are going to uh, see here uh, uh, we will open this ck editor c uh, this one ck editor so I, I will try this ck editor okay so now we are going to integrate this ck editor okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to replace this one with the ck editor okay uh, so in layout bread file i'm going to remove this one see uh, if you want to use this tiny mc editor then you can also use it but you can also use the ck editor as well it's your choice okay so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to add its uh, uh, files okay so we can also do that at one place we can integrate the ck editor at one place i, I can integrate the tiny mc okay so if someone want to integrate the tiny mc he can integrate that if someone want to integrate the ck editor that that person can able to integrate the ck editor as well okay so uh, i'm uh, looking for uh, one more thing i'm going to i'm going with the examples ck editor 5 installation I'm going to click on this one and here uh, I'm going to see start installation available customized option integration with popular JavaScript updating CK editor 5 quick start okay so here in quick start uh, yeah this one so I'm looking for this one uh, so I will use the CDN path for CK editor as well not this one I'm going to use this CK, uh, CK editor CDN path okay so here uh, this one also i'm going to copy this one as well okay so uh, now see where you want to integrate the security editor okay so if you want to integrate for the cms page then we can integrate it 
okay then see this one i am just commenting this one because if in case in future you want to use this editor you can simply disable that secret editor and enable this one okay so i'm just commenting this one this one will also work okay so now see this one here i am going to integrate uh, this editor so this editor uh, just i think id we need to uh, make the change in id and now i'm going to check the another editor okay so i'm going to check here we'll see the another editor now and here is the another editor for you okay so this is the ck editor for you there are many options but still this is the simple one there is the advanced gear editor as well we are going to integrate the advanced gear editor okay so let's integrate the advanced gear editor now straight away uh, i'm going to show you uh, the advanced gear editor uh, i think here it is okay uh, yeah we are going to integrate this one okay so i'm going to add its style so i'm going to add its style uh, where we want the ck editor here we want this ck editor so i'm going to add the styling here only okay so you can add it in your css file as well uh, so now uh, this one editor is fine and this one is the script complete script we are going to copy this complete script and we are going to replace the basic ck editor with the advanced okay this one i am going to replace it with the advanced so now i am going to refresh and we'll see here uh, the ck editor with many options and here you can see now the ck editor is full of options and here you can see the many options are coming here in the ck editor okay so now this is the advanced ck editor and you can see the number of options too many options are here okay so we will try some of the options here so even i don't know that what options are available so we need to uh, see insert html html option is also there okay you can straight away uh, add uh, raw html here if you know the html see uh, i i think every one of you know the html who is watching this series so we can also add the html tags here okay so uh, other than that i'm going to check out see this one i'm going to remove and i can simply undo uh, here like this okay so this content first of all we are going to modify this content okay see bold uh, i'm going to make it underline underline is already working i'm going to uh, make its color change now okay color change is done okay background color we have able to set okay and front color uh anything else and here okay uh so style we can also change font uh font 22 so this one also updated so first of all we are going to update this one and we'll see the changes are coming here so see with the help of the ck editor we able to update the content okay so now you can see uh, the more options are there in this uh, ck editor okay many options are there so other than this we are going to try other options as well okay you can even change the language wow you can even change it to french uh, see check out once that uh, maybe some of the options will not work okay uh see source code see source code we can able to see the source code as well okay we can do one thing like uh, we can we can design one page and copy its, its content and can paste here then page automatically convert to uh the uh like uh, we can able to see uh, see its design as well okay after after converting back to the visual okay so uh, now other than this uh, i'm going to check the other option here uh, like okay we can also add the media url okay and uh okay so i don't know much about this option but uh, you can try all the option okay let's try to insert the image here so we are going to try one image here maybe we can able to see image is also coming here okay so we can uh uh we will insert some other image here uh let's see okay i'm going to integrate
see i'm going to integrate this image so let's see i'm going to submit and we'll see that whether the image will also integrate or not uh so it is showing because data too long so that's why uh so we need to update uh to long data i'm going to check it uh, cms page is here and here we need to use the uh, long test instead of test we need to integrate the long test okay uh long test okay so now i will try uh to uh, do it try to update continue and we'll see uh, yes this time is done and i'm going to check it here as well see it's working fine we able to integrate the image as well you can see with the help of secure editor we able to integrate the image as well okay so you can see the many options are there uh, laravel 10 series image uh, we able to integrate that we are now working on laravel 10 series okay so that image also we able to integrate here so i'm going to remove this image for now okay so it means that it's working very much fine we can integrate another uh, about us image uh, that belongs to this series only okay we will integrate like see we can also integrate by uh, url okay there is another option that we can uh, integrate the image url as well okay so many options are there okay uh, so i'm going to try to integrate some other image uh, like uh, uh, laravel 10 tutorial like this one this one is fine i think well, our tutorial. okay this one seems to be fine okay perfect so see it is small okay uh, and we are going to try see this one okay so this one looks fine here uh, so so this one we have in, in integrated in about us page uh, so like this uh, we able to integrate the tiny mc and ck editor okay so ck editor this is the advanced ck editor we integrated in which all the options are there uh that will make the design of the page really attractive okay so you can try this one at your end and if you uh, face any issue you can surely contact me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye